2022. Where should I start? 2022 is a year that I don't even know where time has gone. Is it just me? Or you guys also think the same? Time doesn't just pass, it flies. The past year, I've been living alone in Singapore, and it's been many years since I lived abroad outside of the US. So let's take a look at where time has gone and some of the highlights of the year for Koala. Great, it's January. It was the fresh start of the year. I was so happy and nervous because that was the first international trip I had after almost two years of COVID lockdown. I was traveling in my 139th country, Saudi Arabia, one of the countries with strictest rule for women. I made a video about traveling as a woman in Jeddah, then exploring El Lula, a UNESCO site. Then I make a video about Yemen, a place where I see the skeptical eyes of many locals as I was the first woman they've seen eating in a restaurant because all local women only eat at home. Then I went to Djibouti. Some crazy thing happened. I was kept in the police station for a couple of hours. I never make a video about that, but if you want to know the story, comments to vote for my next video topic. Somalia. I went to Somaliland. K47. Yes, from Somaliland okay. and Soja and randomly stopped by local people's house because I was very intrigued on how people's sentiments are there having a new government. People genuinely want to talk to me. Hello! Hello! Hello. 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 South Sudan time was crazy, where I saw so many brides my driver had to pay to get past every single intersection. I visited the Mundari tribe, where they live in open air without a house. The tribe people make a joke and give me 400 clouds to be their wife. And then I flew over to Ireland. I totally couldn't get used to how cold the weather is, from equator to freezing temperature. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I went in the summer instead. In February, I reunited with my little lover, Cooper, in the Bay Area. I made the video about a week in my life in San Francisco, how much hassle I was going through to book a PCR test for my flight back to Singapore. March, I continue my solo living in Singapore. I made the video about life unfiltered and nightlife. I also hosted a fan gathering. Those who have been supporting my Patreon page, I gave everyone a little gift in the event. April, I make four videos in Singapore about online dating, my first experience trying Ramadan fasting, and my thoughts on one year mark after moving back to Singapore. In May, I went for a long weekend to East Timor. I make a video about that. It's super hard to get there, I have to fly through Australia. And I also make a video about something you don't know about Singapore and a personal Q&A video that talks about my loneliness, life philosophy, and all that. In June, I make two special videos which are not really the type of videos I, I usually make. My reflection on my childhood activity. And my learnings on 7 day workout challenges. And I also had a simple birthday for myself. Then I went for my annual birthday tradition which is my birthday trip. For July and August videos, I posted how I traveled the micro countries of Europe, including Liechtenstein, Slovakia, Malta, San Marino, Andorra. And Cyprus was the last country where I finally completed visiting every single country in Europe. I then had a spontaneous trip and spent a month in Africa, traveling across 15 countries. My newly added passport stamps are Nigeria. I applied for my visa on Friday, booked a flight on Saturday, and arrived on Sunday. Gabon, the most terrible thing happened. So I have to fly to South Africa instead. Oof, I just got out of the airport first time seeing what Gabon looks like. Sorry about my messy look today. I never make the video about that, but if you're interested in, comment below. Botswana was lovely. I'm walking across from South Africa to Lesotho and met these two amazing ladies who was helping me to cross the border. <laughs> Angola, I loved it so much that I spent five days there and still don't have enough. Senegal, very local experience. Slowly! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Guinea-Bissau. My flight to Cabo Verde got cancelled, so I got sent to Morocco. It's now 6.30 a.m. Staying out for the whole night. Finally arrived in Cabo Verde after two days. Stuck at different airports. The Gambia. Sierra Leone. Jeez. There was deadly strike, so curfew. When I arrived at night, there was no transportation running after 7 p.m. Guinea, not a good experience. Liberia? They call it Colony of America, but still very hard for Americans like me to get a visa. September. I finally got my new iPhone after using my old phone for four and a half years. You probably laugh at me how a content creator using such an outdated phone for filming all this time. And I started KK Travel, hanging out with my audience in Singapore, and answering any question about people's travel anywhere in the world. October, I make the video about my new home tour and makeover and a big hit on my experience as a grab delivery biker. That video now is almost half a million views. Thank you everyone for watching it. I have a spontaneous trip to Iraq and Afghanistan. It really blows my mind to see how women's lives are like during Taliban time. She told me about her experience um, during Taliban where she can't go to school anymore. She really missed school. It was my 165th country. November, I posted a video to share a day in my life living alone and how much the increasing cost of living has been impacting my life in Singapore. I spent half a month in Indonesia and I got great opportunities to work with Indonesian celebrities and local content creators. December, the marathon video is one of my favorite videos on my channel. I'm very proud of my storytelling. And I want to cry. Ah, it's quite painful. With thunders, lightning, heavy rain, injury, I can't express how touched I am. One-time achievement is not success, but it's the consistency that leads to success. Let's keep going. I'm glad that it has inspired many of you. And to wrap up this year, I spent my Christmas and New Year Eve alone reflecting on my experiences and learnings. There's nothing that has made me richer than the experiences I've gained from my travels and the difficulties in life. Have you watched all of my 37 videos in the past year? How many have you watched? Do catch up 